Is it appropriate to use hyperbaric after a surgical event? If you've watched any of my videos, you better already know the answer to that question. I'll probably use that. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is, but here's why. In some cases, we're choosing to have surgery, while in other cases, the surgery is thrusted upon us due to life circumstances. In either case, surgery is a traumatic event. What we're trying to do here is improve the speed and the efficiency of the healing process to allow somebody post-surgically heal faster, recover faster, regenerate more efficiently, and just get back to their life as quickly as possible. So does hyperbaric make sense post-surgical? Of course it does. What does hyperbaric do? It reduces inflammation. What does surgery do? It causes inflammation. What does hyperbaric do? It increases stem cells, it increases regeneration, it increases cellular energy. All of the systems in your body that are required for healing from that surgical event are further stimulated through increased access to oxygen. Getting more oxygen into that system is absolutely going to reduce the healing time and potentially improve the healing efficiency of that patient. What are some typical protocols we use post-surgical? Well, for us, a standard protocol is gonna look something like a minimum of 10 hours, but most likely closer to 20 to 30 hours post-surgical. That will usually start somewhere between 36 to 72 hours after surgery, depending on what surgery took place. We will go through a process of four to six hours in a week, over the course of the next three to four weeks to get to the sufficient amount of hours necessary. And we should see a pretty dramatic reduction in swelling, pain, inflammation, and overall recovery time if we can implement that strategically. We are on a mission to make sure that the people looking for this information have access to it. I know that there's a lot of content out there and I know that it could be very confusing when people are trying to find the answers that they're looking for. And it's really important for me that those people can find these answers. So when you like it, when you subscribe, and when you share these videos, that helps the people looking for this content know that they're getting a trustworthy source and they're getting the information that they're trying to find. So please do that and help us help other people. We've also done a video on should you potentially think about pre-treating with hyperbaric before surgery? Obviously, if the surgery was unexpected, we can't pre-treat. But in many cases where certain surgeries on labrums or hips or joint replacements in general, cosmetic surgeries, those are all surgeries that are very well planned ahead of time, in which case pre-treating may influence the healing process also. So please, if you are thinking about having a surgery, you're planning that ahead of time, and you wanna know if pre-treating makes sense, check out that video we did on hyperbaric oxygen before sur surgery. As always, thanks again for watching. See you next time. So whether you're a chiropractor or a naturopath or an acupuncturist or a DO or even an MD, but you're looking at hyperbarics through this lens, the lens that I'm describing, which is applying hyperbarics for all these off-label conditions, this is the class that teaches that. And right now it's the only class that teaches this type of hyperbarics in this way and that's an actual certification course. Check out hbotusa.com and uh, right across the, the top, you'll see upcoming events. You can click on that and it'll show you uh, when our next courses are gonna be.